Hi, um, today I'm going to make um, braising steak and gravy with onions. Um, for me, this is one of the most easiest things you can do and just leave it in the slow cooker. You can also do it with sausages. If, you, if you're not a fan of braising steak and not everybody is, um, you can use sausages and whatever sausages you like from chicken to um, pork to beef is entirely up to you. So what I'll do is I'll go through what I've got and it's basic store cupboard stuff. So I've already put my slow cooker on to warm up. Okay, so I've used gravy granules. I've used Tesco, other gravy granules are available and I've put three um, dessert spoons full in there. I want my gravy to be quite thick. Um, I'm going to use Worcester sauce. If you follow me, you'll know exactly what I use. Um, Mixed herbs, garlic puree. You can use fresh garlic as well if you want. That's absolutely fine. I'm going to use two onions. Obviously, you use onions according to taste. If you like less onions, use less. If you like more, use more. You can also pop some peppers in as well if you've got those in the bottom of your fridge. Um, to make it richer, I'm going to use a couple of good old OXO cubes and a teaspoon of tomato puree. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do, and I thought this was, you know, we're gonna have this for Sunday lunch, to be honest, um, instead of a joint, because for the price of this, I thought it was a bargain. Um, and also I can leave it on when I'm doing other things, because at the moment I'm busy baking, and I will show you that on another video. Okay, so what I'm going to do with mine, I don't like, you can leave it in chunks, um, but you don't have to. For me, what I'm going to do is a natural breakage. I'm just going to get my kitchen scissors and chop it up. You'll find it almost, if you've got a good one, it almost falls apart. And I'm just going to quarter mine. But as I say, it's entirely up to you. And the, the lovely thing about braising steak is that you can get it in all sizes. So you can get big pieces. But also, if it's just, you know, one of you, you can just give it, you find that it just literally just goes into its own sort of piece. Try and get it with a bit of um, marbling on of the fat because that's where the flavour is. Okay, obviously not all fat, but try and get a little bit because that's where your flavour is. Okay, so you can brown this, but you know me, I like to be easy and quick. So I'm just gonna pop it in. Literally pop the pieces in. As I say, it's entirely up to you, but this is really good just before you go work or go out for the day when you're busy um, doing other things. So what I've got is I've got my gravy granules in my jug. To that, I'm going to add a dash of Worcester sauce. A squidge of garlic puree. But as I say, if you've got garlic in the fridge, I have, but I'm just being lazy today. And a small squidge of tomato puree. And that just enriches it, makes it a little tiny bit sweeter, I find. And to that, I'm going to crumble in two oxo cubes. Okay, so I've chopped my onions. I haven't um, cut them super fine because obviously with this dish, I feel anyway, you, you want to actually see the slices of onion in your dish. Break them up a bit. Well, then they will break up in the gravy. Right, so I've made my gravy, as you can see it's steaming. When you do a slow cooker, and I know I've said this on other posts, you really need to make your gravy thick because the juices will come out of the meat and they will come out of the vegetables or whatever you're using in there and it will thin your gravy and then you'll just end up with a water gravy rather than um, a nice thick rich gravy. So, I mean, this is so, so simple. You could do this in five, six minutes before you even go to work in the morning. Um, and it's really one of the simplest but really loveliest dishes you could do. Spread that out a bit. I will um, post 
um, the completed dish at the end so that you can see exactly what it's like. Right, I'll take my mixed herbs and I'll just sprinkle those over. Um, when you use dried, you need slightly more than fresh because obviously they're not as powerful. Um, yeah, I am going to add salt. Sometimes I don't, I have to say, because I feel there's, um, because I'm using onion, I will, there's a lot of salt in um, the gravy. Gravy granules, gravy powder, whatever you're using at the time. I always feel there's an awful lot of salt in that anyway, so I don't always, but because I'm using onion, I will. Okay, and simply pop the lid on um, and leave it. I'm going to leave mine for about five hours. Okay, and then I will come back and check and I will post the finished product. Okay, I've said that I've been busy baking today and I have made, um, I'm making a lot of stuff, but I've been making blueberry muffins. Um, so we're going to quickly pan across now Ta -da! to the blueberry muffins. These are extremely low in fat and sugar, although I'll sprinkle sugar on the top, you don't have to. Um, and of course filled with luscious fresh fresh blueberries they are amazing they are better off kept a couple of days i have to say they mature they're not muffins um so if you'd like me to show you how to make these on another video please pop a comment and i'm more than happy to do that they're quick they're simple they're absolutely delicious perfect for lunch boxes or with a cup of tea and you won't feel like a sinner because as i say they're very low in fat and sugar okay Thank you. Please like, share and subscribe. OK, so um, I turned mine down to low. I've just turned it up high just before I'm about to serve. Um, it's been on about six hours. Obviously, if <laughs> if you were going to have it on all day, you'd pop it on low. I put pop mine on high, turned it down and then up again before I serve. But if I was going out all day and leaving it, I'd leave it on low. Okay, so, are you ready? It's going to be a lot of steam. So as you can see, it's bubbling away. The gravy is just a really nice consistency. And I'm just going to serve it up. And there we have it. There's your frozen steak and there's your lovely chunky onions and a beautiful, beautiful, wish you could smell it, rich gravy. And that took absolutely nothing to do, literally minutes, and it's absolutely beautiful. So try it. Um, let me know if you like it. And as I say, you could do it with sausages if you wanted or even pork chops if you wanted to. So let me know how you get on and like and subscribe. Bye.